but welcome to a new video. Today we are making the skirt. I don't know why I put this in its own video, but I did. So we're making a skirt today, guys. So I'm not super happy with way, the way the skirt drapes over the hoops. Um, so let me put the skirt down and I will talk to you guys about that. Okay, so I'm fluffing out the skirt, so I'm liking the way it's draped in the back. Um, so it's like lay, draping really nicely in the back, but you guys can see how it kind of like pulls under the hoops right there. Um, I think that's because I don't have enough yardage in the hem. Problem is, I don't have an extra yard of fabric I could put in the hem. So my thought was to take the skirt off of the bodice to kind of cut it at a miter. Um, which would end up taking a yard out of the waist and then putting it into the hem. Taking out the cartridge pleats was easy. From there, I folded the skirt panel in half and then measured halfway down that length, effectively quartering the panel. This allowed me to put the seams in the sides. I measured 9 inches on either side of the seam and then cut the fabric at an angle. This meant that the wool that I had stitched to the waistline was suddenly at the hem. Unpicking the seam and sewing it to the correct side of the skirt panel was the next step. Then it was back to cartridge pleating the skirt back onto the under bodice. Quick changes that I made when I did the cartridge pleats onto this one. I left the front two inches unpleated um, because I eventually I'm going to be appliquing the brown, coppery brown silk down the front um, for the center front guards on the skirt. Oh my goodness. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Welcome to mini celebrations with Marty when she realized she, she did something right. And the other thing that I did change was now that I have side seams in the skirt, I left um, a six inch slit open on either side and I'm going to be making pockets because this dress must have pockets. Like this is pretty much how it looks all the way around. And with the satisfaction of having the skirt drape exactly how I wanted it, I had my friend Casey mark the hem and I continued on. First, I evened out the marks, then I added the length needed for the hem and the tuck before cutting. After all the marking was done, I sewed the center front seam closed, leaving a 6 inch gap in the front that would allow me to get in and out of the garment. On to making the guards! I made two marks on the selvage that were three inches apart, clipped into the fabric, and then tore down the straight grain. This gave me an even width of fabric all the way across. Then I ironed the raw edges under by a half an inch. This gave me a nice clean edge to work with while I sewed them onto the center front of the dress. I might have felled myself to the skirt multiple times while doing this. The next thing I did was sew a 3 inch tuck in, but that was a mistake, so we'll move on and fix that later. I went back and forth on how I wanted to stiffen the hem of the dress. I eventually settled on a horsehair braid. I basted it into the hem of the dress before turning, folding, and top stitching the hem. So the tuck is usually about 2 inches if I'm remembering my facts correctly. Um, this one is about two and a half inches because that is what I needed per how long I left the hem. But you can see that it's really wrinkled over here because it's not supported all the way to the top. So if I would have put um, like a felt, not a felt, um, what's it called? Like a velvet back um, that was behind the guard to support it, then that crinkling for the most part would go away. Yes, it could also be the way that I just stitched it on and we're never going to get all of the wrinkles and crinkles and creases out of this fabric perfectly but it would add more support to the hem. In places in the sides and things where it folds over like that it would be more willing to stay open just because it's thicker. I mean the horsehair already kind of does that to an extent um, but the bulkier that is the better it would be. Anyway, it's kind of cool. The tuck also adds a lot of structure because you're doubling the thickness right there. I am super proud of this skirt. I think I will make a few alterations in the future, which I will tell you guys about if and when I make them in a live stream. Or I might just keep it the same. 
I don't know. I'm kind of proud of what I did. Anyway, I will see you guys next week for a new video, and I'll catch you live on Thursday. Bye, guys!